how to use the Corona Compass as a timepiece and for longitude navigation. This here is obviously the Chrono Compass. For a timepiece, you can use this method. This is how it's supposed to work. This here marks midnight. And each of these marks one hour, and there are 24 of them. The time is indicated by this line here, colored by the developer in his guide, which I am using, in the middle of these. Currently, it's pointing to 1900. Note that 19 is not actually drawn on the Chrono Compass. You have to determine that by counting. This will rotate around the clock. This needle will always rotate, showing you what hour it is, 24 hours a day. You can use that. And now we're going to use the sundial. Note where the shadow is, almost at noon. We're going to wait for noon, local noon, as indicated by the sundial, and then check the chrono compass for the time, which will read 12.30. And I will show you that in a moment. Almost there. What's the needle of the timepiece? We're waiting for noon, and we are now just reaching noon. So I'm going to drop that, and I'm going to bring up this, and we're going to check the time. Note where the needle is on the middle is now just under 1230. We are now going to go back to this and we're going to scroll down to here. 1230. And this is where I'm at, by the way. Just up before 1230. Note these times here. Negative 4 is 1224. Negative 5 is 12.30. So this is where we're at. And these times matched up with this will show you your longitude. All the way between 5 and negative 5. I hope this helps you with latitude navigation. But uh, using this, you can accurately figure out where you are at noon and a couple other times the other people have mentioned, like uh, Sunset, as uh, shown in the guide by the developer. You can use these methods to figure out your position, longitude, more accurately than using the Chrono Compass, longitude, needle, shadow, as shown in a previous video. Although that one works all day long whenever you wish to try and use it. Hope this helps.